Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Taurus for the week of October 16th, 2023. Hello, my bulls. Share your love and support to your girl, Marie. Help this channel grow by liking, subscribing, and sharing. And thank you for everyone who has. I really appreciate the love energy. I'm also available for readings. You can check that out in the link in the description box below. So, my bulls, there is a lot of stuff going on in your sixth house of daily routine and pets. For some of you, you could be purchasing a pet this week. For others of you, this could be taking care of your pet. Okay? Um, let me see. This could be the start of a new job here and learning something new for others of you this is a very productive time for you and you could be getting a lot done or you could be having too much on your plate this week and you could find yourself running around town like a chicken with its head cut off for others of you this is your business picking up and this is like your routine changing now because you're becoming more productive this could be starting a new job at this time with this energy as well you're a lot more busier um, for some of you here you can be changing the way um you could be changing your routine around at this time as well or you could be letting go of certain things like hobbies you were doing or even like if you were playing your video games that may all stop together you may leave a group or organization at this time because you're just too busy and you have no time for that this could be updating your business with the latest and greatest in technology this could be creating a website for yourself this could be moder modernization happening at work with this energy or your job um, could be getting a facelift with this energy here as well for others of you you could be homebound for now because you could be dealing with medical issues and the focus could be on doctors and stuff like that this week with this energy here and focusing on getting better with this energy um, there could be a reorganization of work to make things a lot more efficient at this time for some of you this could be learning to work smarter not harder with this energy you're a lot more efficient um, during this time period a lot more organized now then on the 17th you have a stellum happening in your fifth house as well and in your sixth house oh no you're in, not in your sixth house and your seventh house so there's a lot going on here at this time busy time period for you you could be more in a leadership position at work or with your business or with social media for some of you you are invested in family drama outside the home with this energy and you could find yourself spending more time outside the home Home and being more about other family and you could be visiting family you know that live near you and stuff like that so you could find yourself very much more about more invested in family at this time you could be reconnecting with people from your past with the seventh house energy um, you could be you have a yod happening with your sixth house at this time um, with Neptune and your first house so I feel like for some of you this could be an enlightening experience here that you can have with others you have a beautiful opportunity to rehash the past with other people especially when it comes to generational curses that you kind of need to confront and work on breaking at this time with other people you can have an opportunity to help out a friend but also be careful because of the kite energy you can find that you could be adding too much on your plate with this energy so start editing certain things out because again this is going to be a very busy time for you with the stellum in your sixth house at this time you could be obligating yourself to something new so this could be in your routine changing on tuesday but then you have this yod happening Happening. also a square happening with the north node your sixth house and with Pluto in um, Capricorn so there's a lot of emphasis on your relationships at this time so your relationship dynamics with other people could be changing this could be reconnecting again with people from your past because we're dealing with Libra energy here as well so old cold co-workers you could be going back to a place where you used to work or because you have so many planets going up here in your seventh and eighth house now that you can find yourself um, revisiting certain projects that you had with other people with this energy here so this could be like getting your like seasonal work um, that you had for others of you you benefit through other people bringing about opportunities for career with this energy this could also be reconnecting again people from your past like family members that you had a real falling out with and they could be making an attempt to connect with you for others of you this could be a family member who is sick at this time with this energy and you could be um, spending more time with them you could be um, 
fighting with other family members and not getting along with them at this time because we're dealing with that T-square um, with this energy here about who takes what or who does what, you know, who's helping out with what at this time with this energy here as well. So some sacrifices, real sacrifices need to be made at this time. So you may have to bend like the palm tree that you really need to be at this time with this energy here and be about bigger picture, okay? Then on, let me see, hmm. Then on Wednesday, you can appreciate the changes coming up. For some of you, um, your love life, if it's been stale or non-existent, it can start getting exciting with this energy. You could meet somebody at the gym with this energy, or um, you could appreciate the change in your routine coming up. There's a great time for business picking up again. For some of you, careful with your spending with others. You can be more financially conservative. The receptions, um, there could be like some kind of like gifting going on at work with this energy here you could be rewarded acknowledged for all your hard work or you could get some kind of financial windfall this relate there could be um, practicality in relationships at this time um, for some of you, you could be hiring people to help you um, reach your goals with this energy here as well and you could have a good time with this person this person could be very practical or very professional um, for some of you in the romantic sector there could be an unequal arrangement either there's a, a substantial age difference or a status difference in life a social status difference okay happening here um, it is a time of romance and socializing meeting new love interests is more likely now because of the planets in the seventh house be careful about wasteful spending for some of you this could be a love affair happening um, this is let me see during this time period, it's best spent listening to others to get more detailed picture of what they want from you. Don't voice your demands at this time. Just make it a point to listen more and don't expect to work out an arrangement with other people or an agreement with other people as well. I feel like whatever agreement or arrangement that you do make with other people, they're going to find that you somehow shafted them, okay? They're going to be like, they got the short end of the stick, you got what you wanted, and nobody's going to be happy, okay? Somebody could be appealing something with the courts at this time because they didn't get what they want from you okay then on the 19th here in your third house in your fifth house um, your third house energy I feel like this is a beautiful time for you there's a lot of emphasis on your personal life um, during this time period of course okay so you could be seeing a lot of beautiful changes happening with your personal life and with your relationships with other people this could be like a social event or throwing a baby shower or a party with friends this could be traveling coming up for some of you here as well and going to like a concert or a festival this could be doing something as a family unit with this energy here, like a birthday party or somebody, you know, baby shower or baby reveal or wedding um, at this time. This is a really special time for you and your family with this energy. You are very much more in a sentimental mood and creating traditions with your family. This could be dealing with like Halloween and, you know, some of the people start their Halloween a little bit early and create, creating memories with your family or just doing something so simple as baking carving out pumpkins and stuff like that and making it more family making your house more family oriented and wanting to do things with the family for some of you this is a great time dealing with property management landlords at this time and dealing with estate issues or dealing with real estate okay then on the 20th the north node is semi sectiling neptune in retrograde in the 11th and 12th house of subconscious and self undoing you see things differently from other people you may have more clarity and insight on on other people's situations or projects you can gain much wisdom and knowledge by learning to listen to what other people have to say this is a good time for meditation reflection you are more able to concentrate and not lose focus some people in your life can be trying to guilt you into obligations or make you obligate to something that you don't want to obligate yourself to you can have a hard time saying no to other people now because the planets in Libra in the sixth house okay because you want a service you want people People to be happy with you so this could be problematic or you want to be um, giving but to an extent okay so you need to be careful with your money situation because you could get scammed out of your money at this time or somebody could talk you um, 
way out of your money or you could just be very self-indulgent at this time not the best time to make life decisions here this week so you want to get a second opinion for some of you i feel you may have problems with money situation because your calculations could be off and you may have been wrong when it comes to your spending so be careful because by friday you may have all those bills with the apps and stuff like that catching up with you at this time or all of them coming out at the same time okay the first card to come up with is the four of cups i feel like you're more about your happiness your wants your needs your desires um again self-care six house energy so you could be more invested in yourself this week and taking care of yourself and dealing with your health issues or beautifying yourself at this this time or starting a diet quitting bad habits the death card i feel like you could even see physical results from all the hard work you've been doing okay the death card brings about changes coming to you this week as well the um three of cups oh the three of cups the empress card this is um this is climbing the corporate ladder at this time with these two cards this is growth happening here with these two two cards together so it's a very positive time for positive changes to be in your favor with this energy for some of you the focus can be on mother this week with this energy as well okay for some of you this is a great week for working from home i see traveling coming up or you could be receiving some much needed good news with this energy the high priestess card trust your intuition you can be at the right place at the right time the emperor card for some of you here this is you benefiting through the men in your life there could be a soulmate and there could be a psychic connection between you two happening here as well for others of you you could be bored with your routine six house energy so you could be changing up your routine I feel like this is a great time for growth and leadership position I feel for some of you here six house energy so you're really influenced by the planets and Libra at this time so you're not so quick to jump into anything new with this energy you need a lot of convincing with this energy so you can still be about your plans and your ideas but you're not taking initiative in regards to what happen for you so there'd be like a lot of things up in the air you may not be relying on your intuition at this time as well the queen of coins i feel for some of you here that you benefit through the women in your life this week it looks like with this energy here or for some of you you could be feeling the need to reach out to certain people in your life with this energy for others of you 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 could have a fear of being taken advantage of at this time with this energy or maybe you're scared that somebody's going to offer you more responsibilities if you ask for certain positions at this time with this energy or it's like dangling a carrot in front of you and making you like catch the carrot I do feel like at this time for some of you you're resisting the changes that are coming up this week okay and you're really not so quick you don't like change if it's not in your control and that's probably what's happening here you're kind of freaking out about the changes that are happening around you so you're not really this happy camper at this time because you're still trying to control certain situations around you the page of cups i feel for some of you here that this could be a new love and this person could have a good job with this energy here as well but it's not happening anytime soon for some of you this is just dating at this time with this energy here and you could be very picky when it comes to dating with this energy okay you may not feel you may not know how to feel about this person you know so be careful with dating alrighty the wheel of fortune card brings about eternal events secrets revealed truth being revealed this is either by your hand or this could be somebody else that has a crush on you um, reaching out to you and wanting to talk to you and maybe they're gonna tell you you know this crush is gonna tell you how they feel and stuff but too many planets in Libra you're gonna sit there with your hands sitting on your hands and going well you know and the worst part about it you may have feelings for this person but the way they got aggressive on you and they did that you know and they made you like kind of like they didn't make you come out of your your comfort zone but you feel like socially awkward from it so you may turn down this person because they didn't let you do it okay they didn't let you answer or stuff like that so you could be feeling some kind of way okay and you may not be ready today okay for some of you here i see physical work i see you getting your hands dirty at this time with this energy here the six of wands this is a time of moving forward with this energy as well okay um for some of you here i feel like this is optimistic energy receiving some good news the nine of coins i see you i i see you scared to move forward 
You are scared of the endings that are coming up and you are prolonging the inevitable, okay? And when Pluto comes in next year, you know, in Aquarius on the 21st of January, you know, change is going to happen and it's going to be nasty, all right? So, you know, be open to change. Bend like the palm tree. I know you should be, okay? For some of you, be nice to yourself as well, okay? Because you're expecting way too much out of yourself. Don't strive for perfectionism because you know what? When we... When, when, when we make plans, God laughs at us, okay? So don't even, just go with the flow, alrighty? I do see some of you going on a festival or a concert, so it's kind of correlating with the astrology now. Revelation card, I feel like for some of you, you could have your epiphany moment here, or this a lot of self-realizations because a lot of things that you used to believe in may no longer apply, okay? For some of you, I see lucky new beginnings. I see unexpected monies, inheritance coming up for some of you here with this energy as well all righty the knight of swords i do see new love but again i trust your intuition i don't see it happening very quickly i see an investment opportunity this could be getting another job with this energy as well for some of you here this could be getting a home with this energy the hierophant card i feel fate is going to definitely intervene at this time this is also a time of you sitting on your hands introspection with this energy the magician card as above so below so keep the energy positive during this time period the ace of cups i see emotional validation i feel like as i connect with the ace of cups i feel like you can be very generous and very giving with this energy as well the chariot card brings about new beginnings a victory coming up for you fate intervening um with this energy so a lot of positive things with fate i see you happy on a financial level and emotional level the knight of coins I feel like there's more money coming to you during this time period. So this could also be a time of business picking up for you with this energy here. I feel like congratulations are in order as well in regards to career or getting that job or internship that you may have wanted. So there's a lot of positive things happening. Getting a promotion, job interview going well, um, a great time for those of you meeting status quotas at this time. I feel for some of you here, you may like where you work because they have strong work ethics and strong values that they believe in and uphold, you know, so they don't like whatever crap is going on at this time between you and somebody else, it's gonna get resolved very quickly because they don't tolerate that type of stuff. They don't tolerate drama. The strength card, this is overcoming certain obstacles. This is a time of feeling empowered with this energy as well. The 10 of coins, I see you happy on an emotional level and a financial level. I feel for some of you here, you can be preferring to be more to yourself during this time period as well. So you may not be interested in dating, but it's there. Um, you can be dealing with separation and loss. So Certain people can be quitting their jobs at this time with this energy here. Certain people could be getting fired during this time period as well because they cause too much trouble at work, okay? The um, King of Wands, you can be dealing with somebody that's stuck in their ways of thinking. A very stubborn a very stubborn person with this energy and the eight of cups i feel like you're over this person as well with this energy okay i love you my bulls show your love and support to your girl marie and make sure to like subscribe and share and thank you for everyone who has i really appreciate the love kisses